हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सैयद टीचर ऑफ माउंट लेटर जी स्कूल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द थर्ड आइडेंटिटी सिंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर दैट इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर दैट इज ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर एंड माइनस टू ए बी ओनली द साइन इज डिफरेंट ईयर नाउ वी आर यू लर्न टूडे दैट इज द थर्ड आइडेंटिटी ए स्क्वायर माइनस b square so a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b so here i take the example suppose that in a question they have given a square minus 16 so how to solve this first convert this into a identity so a square can be converted into a 4 square okay because 16 is a square of 4 now we are getting as it is a square here is also a square and b square that is here also and b value become 4 now use the identity and write a plus 4 and a minus 4 so a minus 4 so a minus 4 so here both are same so see this this here is a a and here is also a and here is b so here is also a that is 4 and here minus b so minus 4 and a and a is as it is so this is by using the identity so here is another example by using the identity so if the question is like that if the question is like that you have to solve a to the power of 4 minus 16 since it is a power 4 so you uh, you have to convert the 16 also of power 4 so 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so a to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 so when we solve this we now solve it into a identity so it become a square whole square minus 2 square whole square so here a value is a square and b value is 2 square so now apply the identity so a square plus 2 square and a square minus 2 square okay so this is as it is because here is a plus sign so a square plus 4 because there are no identity for a square plus b square okay but here we can again use the identity because a square and again there is a 2 square that is the b square so it becomes a plus 2 and a minus 2 so this is the answer for using this type of question by using the identity a square minus b square now in this type of question there is not and we can't use any identity here why because there is not a perfect square the constant term is not a perfect square so for this type of question we use the split method okay so what we have to do we have to split the middle term this is the middle term this we have to split so for that first we have to take the constant term so 12 is the constant term and find the factors of it so 2 6 ja 12 2 3 ja 6 and 3 so these are the prime factors from these prime factors find any two factor when we multiply we get the 12 and when we add or subtract we got 7 that is coefficient of y so if i take here 4 into 3 so 4 into 3 is equal to 12 and if i take 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7 so these are the perfect factors we have taken here okay because when we multiply we got the 12 here and when we add we got the 7 so we take 4 and 3 that means we have to split minus 7y in the form of 4y and 3y now so here we have to solve y square since this is the minus sign here is the minus sign so here also minus 4y and minus 3y when we add we got minus 7y and 12 as it is now the three terms is converted into four terms now again we have to do the regrouping as we have done earlier so this two terms and we have to take these two terms find in these two terms what is common that is y square and in minus 4y what is common so in these two the y is 
common here so we take y as a common what is left the left y and minus 4 is left okay now very careful for this sign this sign came as it is as it is so here is the minus sign so here is also a minus sign now in these two terms 3y and 12 what is common so we have seen that 3 is common here so put the y here for next sign what you have to do you have to multiply this sign this sign that is this minus and this plus okay so this sign this sign you have to multiply so plus minus become minus so here is also a minus sign so here is also a minus sign so this is the minus sign now we have to take a 3 from 12 so what is the remaining that is 3 4 is 12 so 4 is the remaining term now since these two brackets are same y minus 4 y minus 4 when the bracket are same that means we are doing in a correct way so y minus 4 and and next bracket is y minus 3 so y minus 4 and y minus 3 this we have factorized this expression in the form of y minus 4 y minus 3 and this is the answer so for this type of question you have to apply the same procedure so i hope you will understood here i am ending our video thank you